How's it going guys? This here is my 2023 Toyota Tundra SR5 in the SX package. Ultimately, it really is just a all black SR5 package. This 2023 Tundra is on a seven inch super lift and sitting on 37, 12 and a half R20 needle ridge grapplers. All right guys, I did say it was on a super lift, lift kit. So here's that drop down bracket you guys all know and love and unfortunately it is on a block system uh, but I do plan to uh, try and get rid of that uh, this year here's that other part for the rear right there I did upgrade the grill to the TRD Pro Grill or the Heritage Grill. Um, I don't have any light bar yet, but I do have plans in the future. Um, and of course, I do not have the front camera. But I also have these black marker lights from Rave Off Road. And yeah, and then they turn when the truck's on, they are orange. As you guys can see, I do have ditch lights on here. You guys may be asking, uh, I guess, what brand these are. So this is the all new. Um, HXB Amber Morimoto Big Bangers, and then this is the HXB One Bangers in Spotlight. And then as you can see here, this bracket, it's by SDHQ. So they're designed to hold, you know, their larger uh, ditch lights. And then this is just an addition to that, just having that second light on. All right, these are the uh, 37 12 and a half R20 needle ridge grapplers. And then I have the MR301 method race wheel 301 in a 20 by nine with a plus 18 offset. All right, I do have uh, an eight piece kit of rock lights in my truck, two per wheel well and they are the new Morimoto RGBs. As we head to the back of the truck, I'll talk about my tail lights. A lot of, I get a lot of questions about if it's tinted or not. Uh, they do have a, um, a PPF film over it, so it gives that nice cherry red look. I also have a uh, tonal cover made by Retrax in the aluminum finish with this nice T-slot. One of my favorite things about this Retrax system is that it also locks. So currently, it's currently locked right now. One of my favorite additions on this T-Trax is that I do have my OTR WeBoost mounted right on that T-slot. As you can see, this bracket is made for it to go about 180 degrees. I usually keep it at a 45 degree angle just so that it doesn't um, rattle against the, the retracts or you can just have it at a 90 degree. All right guys, I do have tint on my uh, 2023 Tundra. The front windshield is 20%. May not see in, but I can definitely see out. And then the sides are 5% here, and then 5% here, and then pretty much 5% all around. And then we'll take a look on the inside to see what that may look like. See, so well, this is the 20% on the inside, and then 5% on the side windows. So yeah. 
All right, guys, so that's pretty much the overview of my 2023 Toyota Tundra SR5 and the SX package. If you guys are interested or have any questions about the mods I do currently have, feel free to message me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you can find me. Again, that username is Yodaman97. And I do have some discount codes that I can save you guys some money. And usually my discount code is YM97. And I'll leave that below in the description. But then again, let me know what you guys think about this truck. This is my build so far and have lots of plans um, for this truck and can't wait to you know, continue this adventure with this 2023 Toyota Tundra. I've been loving it so far. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Follow, like, and subscribe. See you guys later.